All right, so this is a, a quick little how to fix it video. For those of you who may have had this situation happen to them. Now me personally, I've been doing laundry for a long time since I was like 10, 11 years old. And all the dryers I've had, I always had this top loading uh, lint trap thing. And I've never had anything fall down in there. But somebody else in the family, I'm not going to mention any names. I'm just going to say it was uh, Kanan's mommy. Yeah, Kanan's mommy had uh, a little situation where something fell down in here. And uh, I wasn't too sure on how to fix it. So we tried to still use the dryer. Because I didn't know how to get it out. And we tried to use the dryer. And what do you know it wasn't drying the clothes so obviously whatever fell down in there was blocking the heat from entering the dryer so i did a little research and apparently it's not a surprise it happens to a few people so this might help people out on how to fix it and get stuff out of there save from having to call a repairman when it's like a 10 minute job at the most so what you'll need is I use this, I think it's called a bit dryer, this is like a screw for, you gotta take these two screws out, but use uh, one of these bad boys right here, and you gotta take out a couple of these from the back, there's what, eight, eight there, so what you do is you come back here, first thing, you unplug the dryer safety first folks and then you're gonna have to disconnect this hose here it's just pretty simple you just squeeze the two things and pull it off and then you take the back off it's pretty simple like i said there was eight eight screws or eight bits holding it on and then i got that off and then there's four on the actual lint trap vent thing. Excuse my technical terms here. I'm not a repairman, so I couldn't tell you exactly what it's called. But there's four screws or bits that you gotta do, like right here. There's one there, and there's one there, one there, one there. And then, like I said before, you take you unscrew these two screws here and then you pull it out and you see a lot of nice nasty lint in there that doesn't get trapped in the thing and then as you can see this was blocking it you know so it was obviously preventing the heat from actually going in because if you look here, there's a fan and I'm guessing this circulates the hot air into the dryer and the bag was there blocking it all. So, pretty sure this will solve your problem. Then I'm going to clean all this junk out of here. I don't want to start a fire. So, i got a little bit of lint to clean up, but... Uh, for the most part, it solves the problem solved, I'm pretty sure. Hey, uh, Kenito, can you simmer that down? So, Mr. Admiral of the uh, second uh, washer and dryer battalion can get back to drying some clothes. Hopefully, this fixes the situation. Like I said, it's pretty simple. It took me about 10 minutes, so... And there's a couple of other things down in there. Well, bet there wasn't uh, only this bag that fell down there. Anyways, like I said, it should save you some some frustrations and a big expensive repair bill from the repairman when it takes like not even ten minutes to do. Now uh, it's probably going to be a little bit longer to get it all back together, just because you gotta wiggle this piece back inside the back. But, hey man, it's going to be working, and everything's going to be good, and the clothes are going to be dry, and ta-da, it's all done. 
So hopefully this helps someone out, saves some time and frustrations. Mr. Admiral's back on the, on back on duty, back on duty. So yeah, that's it. Hopefully it helps you guys out and uh, stay drying your clothes. So Katie, what do you say? Please. You sending out an email on the iPod? Paper. All right. Uh, Signing out. Peace.